All right, so I'm going to give you an idea of what you can do if you are planning on hosting Thanksgiving for the first time or if you just want to be a little more organized. So what you want to do is you want to make a list. You can use a planner or whatever. I don't have any planners. I always say I'm going to get one, but I never do. So I do think by the end of the for next year, I am going to get a planner. I don't know what kind, but we'll figure it out. But anyway, so Thanksgiving, you decide what your budget is going to be. You know, what your budget is, what you can afford to do. Now, this is also going to be tied into whether or not you're going to have a potluck. Your budget won't be as, you won't have to spend as much. That's up to you. I never make a budget. I just go buy the stuff. I make a list and I just go buy the stuff I want. That's me. Most people with common sense make a budget. I'm telling you to make a budget because it's better. Don't be like me. Okay, figure out your guest list. And from your guest list, you're going to figure out what you're going to have on the menu. Okay, then you're going to decide whether or not it's potluck. And you're going to decide whether it's potluck based on the people that's coming. Because you know your friends, you know your family, you know who house nasty, you know who can cook. Okay. Uh, those who can't cook, they own drink duty and napkin duty. If you're, you know, having paper plates and stuff, have people bring that. Have them bring that ahead of time. You know, have them bring that starting, you know, first week of November. Have them start bringing that and the sodas and all that. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, now decide if, if you're going to make everything, then you know your budget's going to be a little higher. You know, you know, sometimes people will buy stuff and bring it for you to cook if that's what you decide. You know your family and friends. Y'all sit down and y'all discuss how y'all going to do it, okay? Most people have no problem contributing. You know, most people will contribute. Whether it's money or time or helping out or cooking something, most people will contribute. Okay, decide if you're using reusable uh, or disposable plates, you know, and everything. If it's your first time, I would say go with paper plates unless you got the money to go buy everything. I don't know your budget. I don't know what your pocket look like. I'm not going to assume what your pockets look like. But if you're on a tight budget, like I said, have somebody buy a bunch of paper plates and stuff and bring them and pans and things like that. Um, if you need to buy cookware, now's the time to do it. A lot of stores are having sales. A lot of stores are getting rid of their fall stuff also. Macy's had a really good sale recently. Um, in another couple of weeks or so, they'll have another one for cookware. I'm telling you, do not sleep on Macy's cookware sale. It is, I'm telling you, don't, don't sleep on it. Um, another place... That's good is Cost Plus World Market. A lot of times they have, around this time, they'll have plates, buy one, get one free, buy one set, get one free, not buy one plate. And it comes with a little stand. Okay. If you're going to buy stuff that's reusable, I would say, and it's your first time hosting, I would say buy things that can be used year round. Don't just buy stuff that's only for Christmas or only for fall buy things that are like silver trays or white trays or black trays you know things that will go with any time of year clear and then buy little pieces here and there to go in to represent the season you know what I mean you know buy you get some decor from Dollar Tree don't don't frown up at Dollar Tree if you're using aluminum pans and People want to bring stuff, ask them to go to Sam's or Costco and get a bunch of aluminum trays and pans and the lids. Get those lids. You know what I mean? That way you don't got to be using up aluminum foil. Um, also, drinks, wine, all that. If they want to bring something, let them bring it. You know, let them bring this type of stuff. Trust me, that would be a huge help. So Somebody got sodas on sale every week. Let your guests help if they want to. 
um, you want to do make you want to make lists of you know to do lists. You want to make a menu list, a grocery list, pans you need. Um, pull if you already have stuff, pull out your pan. Think about what your menu is. Think about what you're gonna need. Which pan you're gonna put what in. Get some little post-it notes and stick that on there. That way you remember. If you like me, you're gonna forget. So go ahead and get a little post-it note and. Or write you a list and say, I'm going to use this pan for that, this pan for this. You know, make your timeline of what you want to do, what day. When you, on Mondays, on that Monday, I normally do all my desserts. I normally get all my desserts out the way that Monday. And cheesecake, I freeze it. Um, my regular cake, I wrap it in plastic wrap and freeze it. Um, I'll show you how I do it. Stock up on your seasonings now. Anything that's non-perishable, go ahead and stock up on it now. Poultry seasoning, dry sage, uh, Lipton soup, meat, whatever you use, go ahead and get it. When you start seeing those cans of cream of chicken and all that, when you start seeing it on sale, go ahead and get it. Your Tony Satcher is your injection. If you inject your turkeys or whatever, go ahead and start getting that stuff now. Okay. When it comes to decor, you want to decide what's important. Um, I usually just go with a nice tablecloth and for me I get a sim I have a simple uh, centerpiece with candles and you know something and t the candles are different heights and then I go with the chargers are the focal point for me the chargers and the napkin ring are the focal point for me that's me but you do it how you want to do no scented candles do like the uh, unscented votives and some of the taller candles as well and so then what I do is I make my list my menu uh, it depends I actually have to add something to this junior wants uh, what did he want a cookies and cream cake so I make my grocery list I make my menu and then I make my grocery list from this, okay? Alright, so here's my, this is just one that I jotted down really quickly. I make my list, of, I put it based on things that I'm going to get out of the same section so I don't have to be going back and forth all over the store. And I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm dyslexic, so I have to do this or else I would not be able to function without lists. Um, I have to do this. So my meat, I get all that. All that's going to be generally in the same section. So I put that together. My dairy stuff I put together. Um, you know, I look at my menu. I look at any recipes that I have and I write down how many I need of each from each recipe and then I always add one. Like if you need three things of heavy cream, I add an extra one. Um, milk, you know, I, I always got some milk so I do get like one or two things of milk because I don't use a whole lot of milk for stuff. Um, I just always make sure I grab some just in case. Cream cheese, I'm have making cheesecake, so I'm always going to need that. I'm going to need more than that. I'm going to need probably about eight. Eggs, I'm probably going to go get the farm fresh eggs from the place up the street. And I always get, like, they sell them in, like, the crate. So I'll probably get a bunch of those. Butter, I usually clear the shelf. If I see enough in there, I, I'll clear the shelf. Cheese, a lot. Sour cream. I'm going to need more than one. My produce, things I'm going to need. Um, I make sure I have all my produce together, all my dry goods and things of that nature. You know, I put if I need flour, I put what kind of flour? Cake and self-rising. Self-rising cornmeal, baking soda, baking powder, sugar. Things like that. So you have a general idea of what to do to get started. So I'm going to show you some things along the way of what I do. So this is just, I hope this is, you know, somewhat helpful. So I will see y'all later. This is my mini, my list over here. I'm making gumbo tomorrow. I just want to get my grocery list together. So 
I hope that y'all find something out of this. I hope it's helpful. I know a lot of people were asking me for this last year, but I just got started late. So here goes. So um, I will see y'all later and I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye bye. Okay, so here's a more updated and better grocery list. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just showing you real quick. All right, so yeah, so that's that. 